I heard every word you said to those cheap little scrubbers. I pressed down this knee to give you a message and I couldn't help but overhear you. Ow! <laughs> I suppose you think that shop steward of yours is more important to you than I am. But the two most important factors in obtaining parole are A, marriage, and B, employment. Yeah. Here you are out and I find you have neither. Yeah, well, yeah, put it like that, I suppose that is true, yeah. yeah. Well, this puts me in a most embarrassing position. Doesn't do me a lot of good either, does it? <laughs> what are you doing with all that money? Are you fleeing the country? Ah, that's what they expect me to do. No, I've decided to kill myself off. Oh, we well, don't need two grand for that. Jump off something. Well, I'm not committing suicide. <laughs> no, Norman Borman is simply going to cease to exist. How do you mean? Exactly. I'm going to become a... a woman. <laughs> oh. So, do you need any help? Well, I do, actually. If you could man the office for the next hour, I'd be more than grateful. My daughter's Palomino has just thrown a shoe. Just can't get the staff these days. Um, quite. I still can't believe it's happened. <laughs> Neither can his brother and sisters. Brother and sisters? Gavin never told me. Oh, one brother and two sisters scattered all over the world. There's Sally in Tokyo, Alice in Brussels and Peter in Zambia. And they'll all be at the funeral. Oh, it'll be lovely to see Peter again. We haven't seen him in years. Funny how it takes a tragedy to bring the family together. All right, Enid. <laughs> lovely bleeding war you've had with your nylons and your fancy chocolates, and there's a new gramophone upstairs. You didn't get that off the ration. Why don't you get yourself down the West End with the rest of the Piccadilly tarts? Now, look here. Leave it, we... Gary. You've got no shame, have you? My boy was too good for you. I always said it. We saw your picture in uh, Country Life with your pony, Denzel. <laughs> Had to pay them £500 to print Lulu's picture. What? We're hoping some chap will take a fancy to her, take her off our hands. <laughs> no luck so far. Though we had quite a good offer for Denzel. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll get over it. You don't get over a midlife crisis. I started mine at 17. <laughs> you see, life's a bit like this jigsaw. Mm -hmm. Yes, even though there are pieces missing, you're still enjoying the puzzle. No, I'm just enjoying the moment of boredom until the misery sets in again. So how's Dad? Oh, you know your father, frustrated as ever. He's taken up art classes. What? Yes. Well, I think he'd always fancied himself as a bit of an artist. Of course, he keeps it to himself. We always hoped you might go in for that sort of thing. You were so good at it at school. It, it might have given you something to talk about with your father. Mum? Well, love. Something I should tell you. What is it? 